Hey guys, my name is Turgolive, and in this video I'm actually going to show you how to put the alert box on OBS if you do not have Streamlabs OBS downloaded, um, and you'll have to get the alert box through Streamlabs, the website there. Um, now it's a personal preference if you want to use either or, uh, Streamlabs OBS or OBS. Sometimes they do certain updates where it affects each one. And that's what would cause somebody to switch between the two. Just depends on which update. My, me, myself, I've actually switched probably three or four times in the last three years. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Now, first off, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get into your Streamlabs account. If you do not have one, you do need to create one. Go ahead and go to streamlabs.com. Um, it's gonna lead you to their uh, particular OBS but you're gonna want to work on logging in on the main page they are able to do that for you there now right here you're gonna want to go ahead and click on the alert box and when you click on that it'll actually bring up this very handy uh, tooltip that I wanted to leave up on the screen so that you guys are able to see it um, but you it'll be able to go kind of through a quick tutorial you can watch each one of the YouTube videos that they do have here they have a three-part series on how to do that here um, but then you can go ahead and exit out of this. You have a lot of different options here you can do with test follow, donation. You can work different settings as well. Um, this is as if you already got that um, link and you're able to already pull it up on OBS here. But general settings, this is all the different settings that you're able to do for the main alerts, different follows. You can make it whatever you want, um, minus Step Brothers. And then I have already made different, you know, sound volumes and different things that work for me here. Um, but what you're going to want to do is right here where it says click to show widget URL right here next to it. You go ahead and just copy that there. Okay. You just click that there. And then what you're going to want to do is you go over to OBS. And then when you are here, you're going to want to go ahead and click the add underneath these sources course you definitely want to make sure you've already downloaded OBS by this point I'm sure most people most of you already have click the plus symbol right here and then you go up to browser okay that's that browser and then you click OK now it's gonna pull like a mock window of like what it actually looks like okay the area that it does take up now it depends on your resolution of your area and everything like that but since this is an alert you don't want it to cover the entire screen anyways uh, so you'll want to adjust it how you want but right here this is the link okay you're gonna go ahead and paste that in there right here as long as it says that alert box you should be good to go okay and then sometimes you might have to refresh the cache if it's not showing up anymore so refresh cache of current page down the way you can do that um, and then go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to go blank. That's totally fine because it's the alert has no reason to pop up yet. Usually I like to structure like in the top, but you could put it over here. You could put it wherever you do feel like would help you out the most there. So then what you could do is once you put it in there, you can kind of come over here and then let me go ahead and move this over here so you can kind of test that follow notification. So mine is, of course, gonna. I'm actually gonna do subscription first. Um, oh yeah. Okay, that is my subscription notification. So when anybody subscribes, the same for donation, then raids. The same. Uh, the reason I don't want to do follow is because it might be copyright. Don't want this video to be muted. So. But that's really the gist of that there. Um, of course, it'll go through your desktop audio, make sure your desktop audio is all the way up. Uh, other than that, that's really the main key parts of making sure that you do that properly for that. Um, if you ever have any more questions on anything else OBS related, I'm gonna be kind of doing more and more of OBS and stuff to learn through it. Um, if you have any questions, again, let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, leave a like on the video. Um, I'm also a Twitch streamer as well. I stream four to five days a week. And yeah, um, stop by my Twitch channel if you have any questions on this YouTube video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have a good day.